Welcome to Malabar College of Engineering and Technology Online Classes. I am here with Transportation Engineering 1. Today we discussed about the problems of airport engineering based on the corrected run runway length. Okay. Next problem. The length of runway under standard condition is 2100 meter. The airport is to be provided at elevation of 410 meter above mean sea level. The airport reference temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. The construction plan provides following data. End to end of runway 0 to 300 meter. The gradient of that is plus 1 percentage. 300 to 900 minus 0.5 percentage. 900 to 1500 plus 0.5 percentage. 1500 to 1800 plus 1 percentage. 1800 to 2100 minus 0.5 percentage 2100 to 2700 minus 0.4 percentage 2700 to 300 3000 is equal to minus 0.1 percentage determine the length of runway apply corrections for elevation and temperature as per ICAO and gradient as per FAA specifications. In this problem, the given data are standard condition, length of runway under standard condition that is equal to 2100 meter. The airport is to be provided at an elevation of 410 meter. The elevation is 410 meter. And the reference for airport reference temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. And then the gradients of different lengths are given. Then we have to find out the length of runway after correction as per ICAO and gradient as per FAA specification. The correction for elevation and temperature is as per ICAO. ICAO means International Civil Aviation Organization. Then Gradient, correction for gradient is as per Federal Aviation Agency. Okay. Then there are three corrections. First correction, correction for elevation. We know that basic runway length is equal to 2100 meter. Then correction for elevation is equal to 7 percentage of elevation per 300 meter of basic runway length. That is equal to 7 by 100. 7 percentage means 7 by 100 into elevation 410 meter. 410 divided by 300 into basic runway length 2100. So that is equal to 200.9 meter. That is equal to approximately equal to 2000. Sorry, 201 meter. 201 meter. Then the corrected length is equal to 2100 plus 201 that is equal to 2301 meter okay the length after correction of L for elevation is equal to 2301 meter the next correction is correction for temperature we know that the airport reference temperature is equal to 32 degrees celsius then we have to find out the standard atmospheric temperature for given elevation that is equal to 15 degree minus 6.5 minus elevation by 1000 that is the equation and then substituting the values we know that the we know that the elevation as 410 meter substituting the values we get 12.335 degree celsius then finding the difference between airport reference temperature and standard atmospheric temperature that is equal to 32 degree celsius minus 12.335 degree celsius that is equal to 19.665 degree celsius okay then finding the correction for temperature that is equal to one percentage of the difference in temperature of runway length one percentage means 1 by 100 into difference in temperature 19.655 degrees Celsius into runway length. Runway length after correction for elevation that is equal to 2301 meter. 
that is when we get 452.49 that is approximately equal to 453 meters. Then the corrected length is equal to 2301 plus 453 that means 2301 means the, correct, uh, the length after correction for elevation plus correction for temperature 453 that is equal to 2754 meter. Then check for combined correction. The total correction for elevation and temperature is equal to 201 plus 453 that is equal to 654 meter. The percentage increase is equal to 60, 654 divided by 2100 that is the basic runway length into 100 that is equal to 31.14 percentage that is less than 35 percentage. The correction for elevation and temperature is always should be less than 35 percentage. Okay. Hence the design is okay. Correction is okay. Then correction for gradient. Here we got we give different values, different gradients for the points. That is if 3, 0 to 300 chain lengths we consider A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. There are 6 points, sorry 8 points. Then finding the levels. Okay. Assume level of A is equal to 100 meter. The diatom 100 meter. Then level of B is equal to level of A plus chain length minus that is x into y is equal to x into tan theta. That is equal to 300 minus 0. The d x, d x distance is equal to 300 minus 0 that is equal to 300 into 1 percentage gradient that is 1 by 100 theta is equal to tan theta is equal to 1 by 100. Then we get 103, 103 meter which means the point e, B is 3 meter above A. Point B is 3 meter above A. Then level of C is equal to level of B plus the length x length horizontal length 900 minus 300 into tan theta minus 0.5 by 100 that is equal to 100. That means the point C is 3 meter below B. Okay. Then find the level of D. That is equal to level of C plus the chain difference. 1500 minus 900 into tan theta for 0.5 percentage that is equal to 0.5 by 100 that is equal to 103 which means the point D is 3 meter above C. Okay then find out the level of E that is equal to level of D plus the chain difference chain length difference. 1800 minus 1500 into tan theta plus 1 percentage that is gradient plus 1 percentage that is equal to 106 that means the point E is 3 meter above D. Okay then find the level of F that is equal to level of E into sorry level of E plus the chain difference, chain length difference 2100 minus 1800 into tan theta minus 0.5 percentage gradient. So minus 0.5 by 100 that is equal to 104.5 which means F is below E. Then level of G is equal to level of F plus 104 0.5 plus the chain length difference 2700 minus 2100 into tan theta minus 0.4 percentage that is equal to minus 0.4 divided by 100 that is given as get it as 102.1 meter okay that is 
the level of G is below F. Then find out the level of H. That is equal to level of G plus that is 102.1 plus chain length difference 3000 minus 2700 into minus 0.1 percentage tan theta gradient minus 0.1 percentage that is minus 0.1 by 100 that is equal to 101.8 which means point h is below g then find out the maximum difference maximum elevation is for point level of e is 106 the maximum elevation is point e and the minimum elevation is at a a. So hence the difference is equal to 106 minus 100 that is equal to 6. Then effective gradient is equal to the maximum difference divided by basic runway length into 100. Basic runway length into 100. Then correction for gradient. Correction for gradient is equal to 20 percentage of effective gradient divided by effective gradient per 1 percentage into 4 uh, correction for combined correction correction for temperature and elevation that is 2754 correction for gradient is equal to 20 percentage 20 divided by 100 into 0.2857 that is effective gradient into divided by 1 into 2754 that is equal to 157.36 that is approximately equal to 158 meter then the corrected length is equal to 2754 plus 158 that is the correction the length after correction of elevation and temperature that is 2754 plus correction for gradient 158 that is equal to 2912 meter okay this is the corrected length for runway that is equal to 2912 meter